What's going on, you guys? Been a super, super weird night, um, super weird day in general. So I just flew in from Cabo today, uh, and kind of to back up a little bit, I made this video on February 6th, um, right before I, I left on the, I guess it was the 9th to go to Cabo, and kind of got flamed on this video, which I don't care, it is what it is, whatever. But um, different people talked in here about like this guy down here is your sad excuse for a, a cryptocurrency reviewer lacks severe expertise. Um, some guy wrote in here that he didn't, you know, this was actually a pretty cool response. But he talked about how, like I, I I mentioned that the white paper was like oddly worded because they used the word we a bunch in there, and he was like, well, that's not a you know substantial reason, even though I would argue it is for various reasons. If a white paper isn't well written then that bothers me and that's a red flag to me, but whatever, even that as it may. Um, and so I, I made another video tonight because I downloaded the white paper for Chainlink and I said to myself, you know what, I got like a lot of, not a lot, I mean, I only have 271 views in the whole entire video, so it's not a lot, but I got feedback that was negative because my, my um, review of the coin wasn't like overly positive because of certain factors, and I'll go into that in a minute. So I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna read the white paper more and I'm going to make a fall video if I read the white paper and I'm like, you know what, I really, maybe I should have given this coin as bad of a review. Or if I feel even more inclined to say, oh man, like I really think this is maybe, I was on maybe the right path and I'm going to like double down on it. So right before I got on the airplane, I started reading the white paper on my phone and like I, it was the craziest thing ever. It was like typo after typo after typo. Like it, it was scary how bad it was. And so I started panicking and I'll show you here. Um, let's see. So right in here, oh, let me go to this one here. So right in here, um, basically like the, I just highlight some of the typos that were in there and like just very obvious typos. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I was like, I really need to do like a follow video on this. So made a video, posted around and people started like going crazy, which they always do. Like, you know, they, I always get, you're bad and you poof, it's gotten, well, that was cause I deleted it and I'll explain why. So basically this comment down here, this guy was like, please stop doing videos. He posted my other one, you know, he's spreading so much false information. You're fighting blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, like, you know, Tell me what's false about it. And I was like, if I honestly made a mistake, man, this, this is literally my, I took a screenshot before I deleted it. So you guys could see proof. Like this is my transparency here. You know, um, you know, if it's a massive enough mistake, I would literally make, you know, if, if I would make people run away from the project cause the mistake was so bad, I'll delete the video and make another one explaining, I mean, do that, <laughs> explaining why I made a mistake and make the correction with your comments added in. This is it right here. I actually ended up deleting the video after that. I'm glad he put that that comment in there because it made me even look even more um, among other comments that people were writing. And so I was like, okay, so what's going on here? So I get a I get a message back. This guy was pretty cool and uh, in the Reddit group, and he was like, eh, where'd it go? Right down here. PDFs will just sometimes display incorrectly in alternate views. So I was like, okay, wait a second, maybe he's right maybe my phone legitimate like legitimately glitched out okay and i was like you know that would really suck if i made a whole other video on a coin and talked about how bad the white paper was but then i have like literally almost no proof because now when i pull up it's all corrected and all i have is some screenshots that i swipe through and that's my proof it was there i have proof it was there but i'm I mean, the more I think about it, the more I think it probably was a glitch. So I'm like, okay, that's number one. Number two, um, if you go to uh, like, you know, smartcontract.com, one of the things I talked about in my last video, which I got rid of, um, I actually thought they had switched the front page. Like legitimately thought they switched the front page because I was going to it and I see this page here and I'm like, well, wait a second. That's not the page I'm used to going to. And I think it was because my autofill on my URL uh, bar up here was filling in for the other one because the other one is this one and this is what I was used to going to all the time so all of a sudden I was like holy cow I was like okay well first off they switched up the white paper on me in one day second off they switched the front page on me in one day they took the team like it was like all these moving parts I was like oh my gosh like I got to do a follow-up on this like crappy white paper switching front pages like what is this team doing and so yeah like in a sense I was spreading the FUD 
not knowing, like, it, literally, mis- uh, what's the word, not mistakenly, um, innocently, innocent, li- literally innocently, because that's what I was seeing. I was, I literally showed on the other video, I was like, look at the front page, but I wasn't looking at the fact that, like, I was like, why do they have this different link here, this URL, but then after I started realizing, I was like, wait a second, it's literally two different pages that I was going to, and then I looked at the white paper, and I was like, well, this is correct, but this is wrong on here, so why is it? So I was like, you know what? It, it's too close to be like putting people in the wrong direction if it truly is not like legitimate. And it, even though it's completely innocent, I don't want to be that guy that all of a sudden is like pushing you in the wrong direction. So deleted the video, told the kid I would actually post up his comment, which I did, took a screenshot. There it is. That's proof right there. And this is my follow up video to my other follow up video. Um, so this guy talked in here. So let me. Let me back up. The reason why I got flamed on this video mostly was because I talked, my, my key points were the communication, in my opinion, lacked heavily on Chainlink. And I still am a firm believer that's still the case. If you go to their Twitter page, died November 5th. If you go to uh, Sergio, which is the CEO of the company, died November 5th. Like both the Twitter and that died November 5th. Okay, so then you go to Reddit. Well, if you look here, this was February 6th, this is this was a live video, or this was a video. Right in here, you can't, let's see if it'll make it clear. Uh, it's not going to be clear. But anyways, his, um, oh, that's weird. I don't know why it's not clear. But right here, the moderator is, Sergio's not on there. Well, it is now. He's there now, so he's been added. Um, and then he has he has a, um, a post on Medium excuse me, that he posted on December 19th, and that was the last time I've heard anything. So it's like, they're not posting, well, he just joined Reddit, but he wasn't posting in the Reddit sub, uh, the, the official separated form. He wasn't posting on the actual main Twitter page. He wasn't posting on his Twitter page. And also the um, this guy here, Steve Ellis, <clears throat> if you look at his Twitter page, the last time he posted on Chainlink was October 1st. So I was like, what, what the heck? Like, this team gets money on September 19th, then what do they do with it? Where are they talking about it? Where are they leading this project? Like, who are they telling anything about it? Well, according to this guy over here, and again, I don't know who this guy is. I really don't. I just know that he's at least reasonable and not like going crazy, whatever. I, I get it if people are going crazy. I'm like, I put myself out there. So I understand I'm going to have positive views. I'm going to have negative feedback. It, I, I don't care. All I care about is the fact that what I do present is correct. That's what I do care about. And if I find that's incorrect, I will gladly be like, dude, I, I screwed up and here's where I screwed up. So that's the reason why I deleted it because I think it was too much on the edge of a screw up. Um, but it says the chain link uh, have advised they will perform quarterly updates end of March is the next one. And then they're both active in Telegram. So number one, I haven't found anywhere that I could find that they'll do updates in March. But if they are doing active updates in Telegram, then maybe that's where they're talking about it. Now, I did go to Telegram. I did look. I found two different chain link groups in Telegram. Um, I couldn't find anywhere in there where they talked about an update in March. I couldn't even find Sergey in there. Granted, I don't know if he's under an alias. I mean, he could be. Who, who knows? He's under Sergey on everything else, but I couldn't find him in there. I did find Roy in two different groups. Um, but I just – my biggest issue with chain link is not the concept – it's, it's number one, I talked about the first thing. I don't like the fact that they only have two team members. That, that I, I, I'm personally a fan of large team members, so that's number one. Number two, I'm not a fan that I feel like they just straight up like died when it came to communication on or in normal commu- like areas, normal platforms, Twitter, Reddit. Yes, Telegram is big for crypto, so I can't rule that one out. Um, it's actually really big for crypto, but I feel like you have Twitter is like the main masses, right? Like people that are might not even be into crypto that much or just so extremely beginning. And then you have Reddit and then Telegram would be like a distant third because like I, I know tons of people that would be like, oh, yeah, use Telegram. They're like, what? What's Telegram? You say Twitter, you say Reddit. They know it. They don't understand Telegram as much. And if you go to YouTube, he's nowhere on YouTube either other than maybe like two months ago. So it's like his presence is dead. And I personally don't like that. Like, I think there needs to be more. I don't think there's any way anybody can argue against like that other than to say, well, they're working on the project behind the scenes and they don't want to present something too soon. But I'm like, yeah, but 
feedback. You need some type of feedback. Like every single CEO of any company needs to give feedback. That's my biggest negative of this. There isn't enough feedback. And if they are doing it on Telegram or another guy says up here um, and they're in their Gitter, then then maybe my argument is in the right places and at least from my opinion like not everybody in crypto is either as technical or as like deep into the internet they just want to get into crypto and so it's like if you can't like be promoting it and like have somebody dedicated to that i personally think that that's that's gonna hurt you so the the last thing i put in the other video and this guy talks about in here so he's like at least get your facts straight before you try it again don't do it tomorrow do some actual research there's so much misinformation i don't know which misinformation he's talking about um, like i said I, I fixed the front page issue the um the white paper issue the i talked about the reddit subreddit here but one of the things i did talk about in the video which i had, hadn't mentioned yet is their github is like kind of dead they're at least they're they're i'm assuming the ruby on rails i'm assuming it's ruby on rails it says Chainlink ruby so i don't i don't know i don't know do enough languages to matter um, i'm not a developer programmer but their 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 github is basically dead like the last commit on that list that ruby thing was november 17th so I look at it and most people get GitHub and they're like, well, what are you guys doing? Like there's no communication in Twitter. There's no communication in Reddit. There's no communication in YouTube. So it's three different main areas and GitHub looks to be dead on that side. According to this guy, um, they're active on Gitter. They're currently rewriting, rewriting, I can't speak, rewriting code from Ruby to go in a private repo on GitHub. Okay. Once simplified mainnet goes live, the repo will be public, and we will see that see who is working with them and contributing code. They also said they're doing quarterly updates, so keep that in mind. End of March will be next, and plus the release of simplified mainnet. So, I mean, that's you know, if that's true, I'm happy to hear that because it seems like the project makes sense. It seems like a middleman concept made sense. I like middleman concepts and I don't like to be a negative person on any particular coin if I don't have to be. Like I just picked literally I just picked this coin to review. It wasn't like I had like a vendetta against it or even liked it. I don't even hold enough of it to matter. Like literally, like if it went up to like the moon tomorrow, I'd make almost nothing on it. I just don't hold enough to matter. Um, this guy talks about uh, there might be a, there's rumored to be a dev team edition. Uh, the pre-sale, uh, crowd sale didn't go smoothly, which I did read about that. The ICO didn't go well, but according to, um, F trader, the, the refunds might've, um, or supposedly happened, um, and went smoothly from that standpoint. There is a new Twitter handle, but no tweets on it for what it's worth. So, I mean, these two guys at least help me, uh, point me in the right direction, uh, to new things that I didn't know. But part of the frustration I think for some people is they want me to be like a, you know, like I, I keep going back to like a data dash or Superman or a crypto investor or like, you know, there's four or five other people out there that like go more in depth and they're like, don't touch this coin if you can't go that much in depth. I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess that could be the case, but that, that was never the point of my videos in the first place. That was never the concept of what I wanted to be. Like, ha the last five videos have been longer than I ever planned anyways. I wanted to be a stair-step video person where I'm like, hey, here's a coin. Here's the overview. Here's what I see off the social metrics. Here's what I see off the web metrics. Go check it out, you know? See what you find for yourself. And instead, what's kind of turned into is like, if I'm not positive, um, people are like, well, you didn't do enough research. I mean, yeah, that's definitely, I could, I, I could, I could go with that argument and I could see what they're saying. It's just like, you know, <laughs> the, the problem with that is it takes time to dig, dig deep, especially with this one, no Twitter, no Reddit, no YouTube from the CEO pu pushing from the CTOs pushing from the main guys pushing. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, I got to dig into, and, and, and the GitHub, um, issue. So now I got to go to, I got to go to telegram. I got to find out that they're, um, you know, and quarterly reports are happening, and that's why there's a there's kind of a gap in information. And then they got stuff on Gitter and go on Telegram. And it's like okay, so it, it just it it's to me personally, they're making it. What's the word I'm looking for? It's like more difficult for the average person to find than it needs to be. I think that's part of it. So that's kind of my take on it. Um, I want to show you guys I'm just, you know, being true to my word when I said if it's, you know, if I made a mistake, 
I'll delete it. I'll show what I what I did wrong. I'll try to fix it, and then I'll move forward on my opinion. I, my opinion still stands with I don't feel like the communication is – it's not what I like to see. If you guys like to see it that way, fine, but personally, I like more, and I think other coins and tokens do – more and so maybe that's just the norm for me i personally want more but anyway so yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up i'm pretty sure most of you will give it a thumbs down because i have already a kind of a, a negative vibe from the the chain link um community anyways which it's just fine it's whatever it is what it is i i post the videos of what i see but um i hope you guys at least see that my videos and and from this video and every other video on and the videos prior to i would have done the same I'm going to give it to you like I see it. I'm not going to change just because you say something negative. But if I do see something from what you said, I'll definitely, you know, uh, put it on there and, and try to, like, you know, correct a, correct a wrong I've done. And I don't want to mislead people, especially if it's, it's like, I, I would never purposely mislead somebody. If it's an innocent mistake, I'll definitely try to come back and be like, hey, this is what I did wrong. So, anyways, I'm going to go to bed because I'm very, very tired. And I hope that... Um, Hope you at least learned something out of that video. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.